But we are sharks to blood. We will hustle. We will get to that ball, and we will do our best. We still have the same mentality we always have here at Clark County of just getting to the ball and flying to the ball no matter what. When it comes to defense, that's just who they are. They're tough kids, and they're going to rally to the ball, and they're going to you know, do their job well. Newly hired coordinator David Melton is stepping into perhaps the biggest pair of defensive shoes in tri-state football. But his predecessor left the cupboard in Cahoka far from bare. If the Indians' rebuilt line can gel, Clark County has a chance to rekindle last season's championship ferocity. If we can set the line of scrimmage and have Jake flying in or uh, Dayton Klein flying in, we'll be pretty good. We'll be set. We had a great group last year, and uh, they're, they're really great kids. But I think these kids this year are going to step up to the plate. They're going to learn what they need to do, and they're going to be technical, and they're going to work their, their rear ends off. What that Indian line lacks in experience, it makes up for with size and potential, not to mention great support from the back eight, including proven cleanup guys and safety Javen Ray and linebacker Jacob Trump. Jacob is a, is a coach on the field. He's a kid that uh, you know, holds himself accountable. He does the right things on and off the field. That's why football is such a great game, because individuals like Jacob Trump can always uh, can show their ability on the football field, not just as a football player, but as a man. Before being promoted to head coach this past spring, Scott Murdoch honed quite a reputation for offensive creativity in Cahoka, which makes the rebuild on that side of the football seem more fluid. The biggest change will come at quarterback, where wide receiver Javen Ray replaces an all-stater in Austin Egley. It's a little different. Austin was more of the runner type, and he taught me a lot of good things, so hopefully I can transition into what he does so we can keep a few of the same things and do the little things different. My philosophy is kind of, uh, I, I, I believe the quarterback should be a runner, and uh, Jay Ray will run the ball, but the, 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 the advantages that we'll have now is, is he definitely throws a, a great ball and uh, we've got some good receivers and you know ultimately my goal is to be 50 50 and uh, you know with him we have a, a high success rate of doing something like that it's a little weird you guys were picked to probably win this conference last year and you did people are pointing different directions this year centralia palmyra that has to stick in the crawl a little bit doesn't it yeah it's we'll be working as hard as we can to get where we need to go and what we're aiming for is state i had a lot of fun last year you know playing behind austin egley and you know playing behind that big line but this year, it's just going to be a whole different story, and but it'll be, that's what's exciting about it, you know, playing behind Jay Ray and, you know, Phillip and our new line, and, you know, it's it's just going to be exciting to see what we can do, and, uh, you know, going into this season, we have high hopes and high dreams, and we're going to do everything we can to conquer them. Good job, LB. Good job, sir. Good way of flowing.